Chicago's downtown horse carriages may be forced to ride into the sunset. Three aldermen are backing a move to eliminate the carriage rides before the Christmas holidays with strong support from animal rights activists. CBS 2 political reporter Derek Blakely is live near the Chicago Water Tower with more. Derek. Erica, this is where the horse carriages line up for their rides. You can see one in the distance there. And of course, they've been a traditional and colorful part of the Michigan Avenue landscape for years, favored by both romantics and tourists. But now critics are calling them a cruel anachronism. Okay, go on in there. At antique coaching carriages, manager Danny Chagru says Chicago wouldn't be the same without its iconic horse-drawn carriages. You know, how many things are we going to drive out of the city till it's just a generic thing where there's no character left? But Southwest Side Alderman Ray Lopez contends horse carriages add cruelty, not character. They have not been able to regulate themselves. The city does not have the resources to regulate them. Lopez is joining downtown Alderman Brendan Riley and Brian Hopkins backing an ordinance that would bar carriage operators from renewing their licenses in November essentially driving them out of business. I've always cared about animals. Animal activist Jody Wiedeker points out, and the city confirms, carriage operators last year received 334 citations and more than $20,000 in fines. We have documented, witnessed and documented uh, horses being overworked sometimes as long as 12 plus hours, uh, working horses when it's been 90 degrees or hotter, and also not providing water many times. She'll come right here for this. But carriage operators deny intentional cruelty and say, where once 40 carriages worked a busy Saturday night, now it's no more than a dozen. Our footprint is very small down there now. It's, it's not a big deal. And with all honesty, this is an industry that has passed its prime and should come to an end. Tomorrow, the City Council's Committee on License and Consumer Protection will vote on the proposal, and that's the first step in sending Chicago's horse carriages the way of the horse and buggy. Reporting live from Michigan and Pearson, Derek Blakely, CBS2 News. Robin Erica. Okay, Derek, thank you. Meantime,